Hello viewers, it is my esteemed pleasure to welcome you to yet another episode of our YouTube tutorial videos. In this tutorial video, I'm going to take you through one very important uh, documenting tool in the name of uh, the fill tool. So in this tutorial video, kindly consider subscribing to this YouTube channel so that you may not miss any of our upcoming videos that we'll be putting up in this platform. So to begin, I wish to first uh, allow us to ensure that in the document uh, section of this uh, ARCHICAD uh, 21, we need to activate the field tool first before we even begin uh, working on the, or rather selecting the, any of the field tools that you wish to have in this uh, design tutorial. So I'll first go to the options uh, selection where I'll click on that. Then I will go to the element attributes. Then I will swiftly locate uh, on the other in the upcoming dialog box. I'll click on the fill types. And because I'm selecting a new uh, image tool for that matter, I'll click on new. Of course, I've already profiled one of the, uh, the fill tools that I'm going to use for this flow. Of course, that is the, the wooden tile. So I'll simply click OK. Then I'll proceed uh, by resizing the image size. I'll, I'll use uh, 250, of course, for it to be more legible and so that we can also work with it uh, well. So after doing that, I will close the dialog box by clicking OK. And then on my uh, dialog setting, I'll ensure that my selection is a wooden tile uh, flow, the one that I had used uh, previously. Then once that is done, uh, a narrow uh, selection will be highlighted for me to select the, the entire area that, we, uh, that I will used to have, I, I will wish to have the field to be uh, appear. So I'll, I'll first click on the first corner of that. Then I'll scale all the way to the, the farthest corner. And I will do that to the entire flow area that I would wish to have my, 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 my wooden uh, flow tile appearing. So I'll ensure that I will just select those specific areas so that it will ensure that I have the right selection in place. Then come to that corner and then I will end by, I, I really need to put you into caution that all these uh, selections have to be at 90 degrees to ensure that the custom feel is in order. So as you can see, uh, the entire flow area is already uh, under the wooden tile. So I can, Play along with the with the with the with the adjustments of uh, the angles and also the alignments of this uh, wooden flow tile. So I'll go back to the sorry. I'll go back to the options. See if I can make any adjustment. Of course, I'll have to. Select the entire area. Options. So this effect I can I can I can use a current scale of uh, the paper size. Of course that will help me to, to, to ensure that uh, we are keeping the, the original proportion. Then I will also play along with the angles. So that means I can I can use uh, maybe 35. And then I can also mirror the method to, to this. Of course, you can play along with any that you want. So I can play along with the last one. Ensure that the angle is uh, 35 degrees, 
Let me use one by one. Then I'll click OK. So you can see that uh, I'm able to readjust the, the flow pattern based on different angles that uh, I have in place. I can still go back again and uh, make adjustments based on the, the test and preference that I have. I can use this as uh, maintain it at zero. Then I will use uh, 100. Then I can use the first one again. Of course, just to ensure that the aesthetic value of the the design is coming up properly then i'll click okay then you can see that that is not what is coming out same to the scale i can you do this over and over again just to ensure i have the right uh, size and even the right uh, scale to, to to apply to this particular design yeah so that already tells you that the more you increase the size and even the the elegance of the design comes up in a in a in a in a proper way yeah so that is that so i believe you've already seen uh the we've already seen what we we had intended to do when it comes to the custom fields of course just to make uh, the whole design uh, presentation friendly and also to improve the aesthetics of the the, the entire uh, design so we have come to the end of this tutorial video and uh, please uh, if you have not cons uh, subscribed to this youtube channel kindly consider subscribing and then we'll be able to learn more from this for now thank you and have a good day